Hi, and welcome to the Buy Turbo Brushless Live Event 2021. I'm Chris, one of the UK Power Tool Training Managers, and together with my colleagues Dan and Lawrence, we're going to have a look at our revolutionary Buy Turbo motor technology. We're going to revisit Procore 18 volt, our battery platform, and we're going to have a look at a number of our Buy Turbo Brushless machines, including our first ever Buy Turbo Brushless Combi, the flagship GSB 18V-150C. And don't forget, Stay till the end of this event because we're going to announce the winners of the competition. Okay, before we can start talking about Biturbo, I'd like to revisit our Procore 18 volt battery platform. Now, you're probably already very familiar with the Coolpack battery, this one being an 18 volt, 5 amp hour Coolpack battery. It runs on the well established 18650 cell. Here's an example here. Now, this cell allows us in this battery platform to uh, pull 45 amps out of this battery, and that basically means in layman's terms, we can run a power tool up to an equivalent of 800 watts. Now that has served us very well for the traditional or the majority of our 18 volt battery machines. However, increased demands for more power and more runtime means in 2018, we brought out the Procore 18 volt battery. Here we go, here's an eight amp power. What's the difference between it? Well, primarily, it's now running on a different cell. It's running on the 21700 cell. This means with this 8 amp hour battery pack, we can draw up to 90 amps. And that means we can run machines up to 1600 watts. We're truly in the realm of corded power, but with cordless freedom. Have you ever wondered what's actually inside a Procore 18 volt battery? Well, I can show you. Here's one where I can remove the side. And the first thing you'll see is you can see copper. And the reason we use copper is a far better, more efficient and quicker material to transmit and release heat. On these little dots you can see here are actually part of the manufacturing process and that is a Bosch patented process of laser welding these copper plates onto the batteries. The reason we do this is because it has a lower internal resistance and a larger surface area which prevents hot spots. On the inside of the outside container you see another bit of material which is a rubber gasket. This helps reduce air gaps. Now why is reducing air gaps important? Well if I show you this bit which is actually the inner workings of the Coolpack version 2. This is a material called GDPE, which is a thermal conductive polymer. We've reduced the air gaps here as well. So the cells now sit much closer and don't have as much gaps. The reason why we do that is because air is an insulator. And what we want to do is we want to get the heat from the cell into the Coolpack material and transmit it into the environment. Because as we all know, heat is your enemy when it comes to lithium ion batteries. Now, it's not only just these passive mechanisms we've got, we still have Bosch ECP. Now, Bosch ECP, which is electronic cell protection, in conjunction with these mechanisms, means that the battery itself will last 135% longer than the version 1 Coolpack battery. So, let's have a look at the range of uh, Procore 18 volt batteries that we have. We've discussed the 8 amp hour Procore. Now, this is the battery we would recommend for use for all of our Biturbo machines. If you don't require as much runtime or power and you want to save a bit of weight, we have the 4 amp hour Procore battery here. However, when you really want as much power and runtime as you can get, then we thoroughly recommend the 12 amp hour Procore battery. Now, this is really good for use in high draw applications such as angle grinding or SDS plus hammering. As one final comment, we also have a 5.5 amp hour battery to fill out the range. That means whatever your application, whatever your requirement, we have a battery that will suit your needs. 
And finally, it's important to note that our Procore 18 volt battery system is 100% compatible with the entirety of our 18 volt range, not just the bi-turbo machines. Okay, so we've discussed Procore 18 volt. Let's talk about bi-turbo. The first place to start off with, what does it mean? Well, as the name suggests, it's made up of two main parts. The first one being our most powerful battery pack, the Procore 18 volt that we've discussed. And the second one being our most powerful brushless motor. As a comparison, here is an example of a 18 volt brushless motor, a non bi-turbo motor. If I put them side by side, you can easily see the bi-turbo motor is much bigger. It has more powerful magnets, a larger fan. It produces much more power. So when you take our bi-turbo brushless motor and combine it with our Procore battery pack, we now talk about a next generation level of performance. As discussed earlier, the combination of these two elements means now we can run machines up to a corded equivalent of 1600 watts. We're talking machines like table saws, sliding miter saws, STS hammers, etc. This provides you massive benefits when working on the more challenging tasks in the workplace. Thanks to state-of-the-art technology, our bi-turbo tools are not only lightweight and easy to handle, but they allow you to cut thicker materials, drill bigger holes, and use more aggressively. As an example, with this GSB 18V-150C, without a bi-turbo motor in this machine, it would be simply impossible to get the 150 Newton meters of torque that this can achieve. Okay, so now you understand the theory, let's have a look at some of the bi-turbo products within our range. Lawrence, our UK product manager, is now going to show us the bi-turbo small angle grinder. Thanks Chris. Right, this is the GWX 18V-15SC bi-turbo brushless X-lock angle grinder. 125mm disc and crucially the bi-turbo motor which provides up to 1500 watts equivalent corded power making this the most powerful cordless angle grinder in our range. Suitable for a wide variety of applications, grinding, metal cutting, and with that 1500 watt motor, a very, very fast material removal rate. In addition, there's a huge range of XLOC compatible accessories for this product, meaning you can carry out lots of different applications, working almost any kind of material type. But don't take my word for how good this tool is. Let's get onto site and see how the guys actually got on with it. Right, so what is the main benefit of the new X-Lock system? I'm gonna start over here with the traditional M14 spindle lock, which you'll all be familiar with. When you need to change your accessory, you have to find your spanner, 
undo the spindle, or at least loosen it off, and unscrew. Accessory out, new accessory back in, spindle back in place, and tighten it off with your spanner to make sure the tool is safe to use. With X-Lock, it's as simple as accessory off, accessory back on, and away you go. Seconds. So x -Lock's really about saving you time and making the job more efficient. Okay, Dan, if I can give you that one. Yep. Thank you. Cool. Next up, let's talk about connectivity. Okay, so the angle grinder is fully connected. You can access some customizable settings via the Bosch Toolbox app, which include setting the speed settings to whichever application preference you would like. Okay, so speed or RPM varies from 3,400 RPM up to 11,000 for faster cut into harder materials. In addition to that, you also have the HMI or human machine interface on top of the tool, which is just a visual indicator of what's happening. So green means that the tool is good, ready to use. If the light turns to amber, it means that it's exceeded its load capacity or potentially the battery's overheating, so the tool needs to shut down. Red means something's gone catastrophically wrong in the application, the tool is shut down for safety reasons. In those incidences, all it needs is to be reset either via the switch or take the battery out, plug it back in, and you'll be good to go once again. Next, I wanna talk about some of the safety features. Given that this is an X-Lock machine, it's fitted with the X braking system. Designed to react faster than our standard braking systems in our angle grinders, um, the best way for me to demonstrate it really is to show a direct comparison. So Dan, if you wouldn't mind coming and joining me and bringing that GWS18V-15. Okay, so this is exactly the same machine, just the non x lock version. We're gonna pop on a customized disc, which has just been painted to give a stronger visual representation. They're not sold like this. Battery on. And then we'll both start the machines up and demonstrate how quickly they stop. So Rob, if you can, once we're up and running, if you could just count us in. Thank you. Ready? Ready? Go. Three, two, one, go. Hopefully you saw clearly that this was around about 0.2 or 0.3 of a second quicker to come to a standstill than the standard GWS machine. Thanks, Dan. No problem. Let's just swap this disc back. Get rid of that one. Okay, additionally, two other safety features that I wanna show you. The first of which is kickback control. So the machine's got sensors in it, which sense if there is a sudden bind mid application and the machine could potentially come back towards the user, which is kind of dangerous. So it will automatically shut down in that scenario. Let's demonstrate that quickly. So, on. As you can see, the HMI is flashing red. It's all stopped to indicate there's been a problem. On top of that, the machine also has a drop control feature, okay? So again, it's all about the sensors inside picking up a sudden change in direction or movement. If the machine is dropped, the machine will automatically switch off so quickly it should, drop, should switch off before the machine actually connects with the floor. Again, you'll see flashing red there to indicate something's gone wrong. So, in any one of these scenarios, it's quick and easy to get the tool up and running again. Simply depress the side switch back and then re-engage it to start the tool up and continue with your application. Now, I've done enough talking about this tool. Next, we're gonna to go to Ken Hudson at Hudson Tiling Services, who's been using this angle grinder in his day-to-day -day work. My name is Ken Hudson, I'm from Hudson Tiling Services, and I'm very, very pleased to be part of um, Bosch live stream. So, I wanna talk about Bosch, this lovely piece of kit from Bosch, the G X X lock grinder. Absolutely stunning piece of kit. So one of my favorite thing on this grinder is it's 
variable speed. For Tyler, that means a lot because we could adjust the cutting speed on, 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 on your grinder blade. So if you're cutting certain material where you want it to go faster, slower, it's really, really important. And that's one of the key functions for me as a Tyler. And the next one I really, really like is X-Lock. So if you could see that's the new, the latest system, the X-Lock system, which once you pull the sleeve up, pops off in your hand. That's how easy it is to change your grinder blade. So if you're doing a certain type of job and you need to constantly change your blade, this is such a key um, feature. And if you need to change it, it's pretty much click it in like that and you're actually ready to go again. Absolutely beautiful feature that, you know, is very helpful. Say we're doing polishing the tiles and we need to change from the grinder blade to a polishing pad with the X-Lock system. As you just see, it's easy, in and off, and you're ready to go. One more thing uh, that I really love with this grinder, and it, it's very helpful um, for us, with health and safety wise, because um, if I turn this on, you can see the, the blade stopped instantly. As soon as you turn it off, the blade stops. Normal grinder, it will take a while for the blade to stop. So if you put it somewhere, you could rub your hands on it, it could cut you. This, the blade stop instantly. Really love that feature from the Bosch GWX. So, all right guys, I want to show you something here. You could see this expensive, beautiful floor, very expensive. I want to do something just to show you how good this grinder is, this bi turbo from Bosch. How good this GWX is. I want to show you, right? So let me put on my earpiece and I'm gonna actually turn the grinder on. I'm gonna actually turn the grinder on and I wanna show you this, yeah? You call this the drop control. And we as tilers or anyone that uses a grinder, this is so important to us because accidents do happen and you could bounce the grinder off and you could have an expensive floor like this, you're doing a little bit on or, you know, and it could damage the floor. But let me show you this now, yeah? Instantly, instantly, the grinder shot off by itself. So if you have actually dropped it on the floor, the only way it will probably get damaged unless it hit the floor like this. But if you hit the floor like this, or even like that, this floor will never get damaged because it actually stopped instantly. This drop control on this grinder is next level. Absolutely next level. So because the GWX is actually um, brushless, um, so the bi turbo is brushless, so pretty much you're getting 50 more percent speed when you're actually cutting. So if you're cutting a tile, because it's brushless, you're getting more power, 50% more, which is absolutely great than a normal um, um, grinder that uses a brush. And sometimes you have to actually have to change the brush. This one you don't have to because it's brushless. So you get a cleaner cut, because the faster it goes sometimes, you get a cleaner cut and you're getting it 50% faster, which as a tiler, that's what you want, because instead of spending two minutes cutting a tile, you know, if you're spending a minute to cut a tile, you know, because you're getting more speed from your grinder, that's what you actually would want. And this is one of the main reasons that I really, really love um, this grinder, because you're getting 50% more speed. See you guys, how clean this cut is. Absolutely clean. And I've actually cut this style on a curve. So as you can see, the reason why I've cut this style on a curve, because sometimes when you cut on a curve, you will get a lot of chips from it. So I really wanted to test it by cutting the tile on a curve and not in a straight line to see if it chips. And you can see how clean that line is. And that's what we were saying with the, with the Bosch, the new GWX. What you get, because it's brushless, it's bi-turbo, you get that 
50% more speed. And that speed helps to give you a cleaner cut, especially when you're using uh, a really decent blade, which is expert blade from Bosch is excellent as well. So what you get is a clean cut, absolutely beautiful. And that's, as a tiler, that's what you dream for, to get cuts that you don't have to dress. You cut it, you finish, you install. Absolutely love this piece of kit from Bosch. So with all the features I just showed you about this GWX, this is why it's my favorite grinder. Absolutely love it. As a tiler, it's a dream. Really, really couldn't get a better grinder to use with all these features, you know, um, the drop control, everything. That's what you want, you know, a grinder that's very, very smart. I, I call this a smart grinder, you know? So I have to say big up to Bosch on this. Absolutely love your bi turbo uh, brushless. The GWX guys, check it out. Really, really beautiful grinder to use, which again, the x -Lock system just makes it easier to change your blades. In summary, the GWX 18V-15SC is our most powerful and advanced cordless angle grinder in the Bosch Professional range, featuring the bi-turbo motor, the x -Lock innovation quick change system, and a host of safety features to keep you safe and injury-free when using the product. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Lawrence. So, that's a good looking tool. Another task where you really want the tool to do most of the work is an SDS hammer or rotary hammering. So, next up is my colleague Danny, one of my UK training colleagues, who's going to talk to us about bi turbo hammers. Thanks, Chris. This is a GBH 18V 34CF cordless SDS Plus hammer drill featuring bi turbo technology. Its core applications are renovation, restoration, and light demo work. Let's see what it can do. As you can see, this machine packs a punch with an impressive 5.8 joules of impact power, offering 45% more power than any other similar product within the Bosch range, when coupled with an 8 amp hour Procore battery. So let's run through the machine's features from top to bottom. On the top here we have a uh, multifunction dial. This offers the chisel function, as well as the hammer function in forward and reverse, meaning you're not clutching around forward and reverse switches in addition to this one location. We have a lock on trigger function here that's only available in the chisel mode. Um, then there is a free wheel function here which allows you to rotate the chisel and then lock it off in position. So moving further down the machine, we have just here the Bluetooth module location port. This just comes out and then you pop in a Bluetooth connected module there and allows you to communicate with the machine with your mobile phone. With this, you're able to adjust the EPC or the electronic precision control, which allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the soft start. Also, you can adjust the sensitivity of the kickback control. And finally, allow you the ability to create a custom setting selectable at the HMI or human machine interface at the rear of the machine, just under the handle. While we're talking about the HMI, it's a simple one button operation here. So one touch will bring up the status of the machine, green meaning you're good to go. Amber here would indicate that you've reached a critical load on the machine, so it's probably worth backing off slightly, or allowing the battery to cool down. Um, and red would indicate that the battery temperatures exceeded recommended levels. Um, you've either tripped the kick back or the battery needs recharging. So on the front of the machine, we have a work light and on the rear, we have an anti-vibration handle. 
Out of the box, you'll find the machine's fitted with a standard SDS Plus attachment. This is removable and can be replaced with a three jaw metal chuck that comes in the box with the machine as well. This allows you to do straight shank drilling in addition to the hammer drilling with the SDS bit. So that's enough for me for the time being. Um, let's go to Nick Bundy at N Bundy Electrical and see how he's getting on with the machine. So what's my toolkit? So this is the Bosch GBH 18 volt 34 CF. So this is my 18 volt SDS. Um, as you can see, size wise and by the look of it, we've used it quite a lot and put it through its paces. With myself being mainly domestic electrician, going from chasing or drilling holes or picking floorboards up or going through lofts, um, one of the major key points that I like about really any Bosch tool is the Procore batteries, especially the eight amps of how long they last, how much torque we have, uh, the charging station we also have as well. It really helps me get through the day without having to continuously change batteries over. A few of the key features I like about this drill, we've got a normal hammer motion for when we're just chiseling out walls, chases, back boxes, that sort of thing. Uh, you then got the hammer motion as well. And with the anti-vibration handle, which you can see just there, does help us from getting sore wrists and arms. Uh, the handle comes in really well. On top of it, you've got a very few smart features for the battery operation. You see it lying up here, this battery is half flat, white, yellow. There's three different comfort modes for SDS and hammer drilling. We've got a nice bright LED on the front, which when we move the handle out of the way, makes the wall nice and light. Top it off with the Bosch stuff as well. You also got the smart little uh, Bluetooth chips that you can get that go inside. So if you have the Bosch Biturbo app on your phone, it will give you the analytics and the feedback from the drill of how it's doing, the battery consumption and all that sort of stuff as well. A little bit of smart technology in there as well. Another key little feature as well. So if we can actually pull back with the second collar, we can actually remove the chuck for our SDS Plus, which will allow us to put a different adapter in to have uh, sort of normal drill bits. Why I love this drill, the power, the battery consumption, uh, the weight of it as well. It's not the largest drill in the world, but it really helps you get into them difficult places and pull out the difficult brick in these sort of situations. I love this drill. I have two of them. I also have one for my apprentice and I wouldn't change it for the world, to be honest. I think they're great. In summary, we have the GBH 18V-34CF. Perfect for restorations, renovations and light demo work. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Danny. So in addition to SDS Plus, we also have a range of SDS Max Hammers within the Biturbo range. Moving from masonry to wood, Lawrence is now going to show us our Biturbo 18 volt circular saw. Thanks Chris. Next up, we're going to talk about the GKS 18V-68C and GC Biturbo brushless circular saws. So two models, essentially they are the same power, same motor inside, same 190 mil disc size, okay? More or less the same cutting capacity, but you've got one rip saw, non-guide rail, and one track saw or guide rail compatible circular saw. Both saws suited for all of your typical carpentry applications. Great for cutting through large sheets of OSB, um, but really you can cut through any usual material that you would use this saw for, as long as you've got the right blade on for the, for the actual task. Really and truly, these high-powered cordless circular saws are designed to pick up from where your older corded machines left off, okay? So up to 1800 watts worth of equivalent corded power means that they can do all the jobs that you used to need a corded saw for. Let's see them in action. So, first of all, let's look at the GKS 18V-68C. This is a uh, simple rip saw, if you like. So it's got a more compact base plate on it, and it is ever so slightly lighter than the GC model because this is obviously a guide rail compatible base plate on here. In addition to that, you do get a slight cutting depth uh, performance advantage because it's not sat on the track, it goes directly onto the material that you're cutting, you get an extra two mil. So 70 millimeters cutting depth capacity in total on this. Um, the saw does have a bevel function as well. It'll move over to uh, 50 degree bevel, slight over bevel, I'd say about half a degree. Um, 
And lastly, it doesn't have the HMI interface behind the trigger, behind the handle, but it does have the connectivity module, okay? So it's a connected circular saw. Um, so you do get some additional features through the Bosch Toolbox app. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to one side and now I wanna draw your attention to the guide rail compatible model. So this is a GKS 18V-68GC. As you'd expect, slightly bigger base plate on the bottom of the tool. Uh, again, there is a bevel function on here, so you can reach uh, 51 degrees, I believe. Let's just demonstrate that. So as you can see, the tool comes all the way over there. You've got uh, an indication of the degree setting at the front there, nice and clear to see. And another feature which is quite nice on this tool, makes it slightly different to the C model, is on the top, one button, depth adjustment. Okay, so nice, quick, easy depth adjustment. Also allows you to make plunge cuts, should you wish to. Okay, 190 mil blade, as we know, spins up to 5,000 RPM per minute to give you nice, quick, clean cuts. Uh, a nice fast application finishes. So at the rear of the tool here, you can see we've got the dust extraction port. This is a friction fit, so it's universal. Additionally, you've got the depth adjustment scale here in nice clear millimeter increments. And then if we come around the other side of the tool and just switch it on, you'll see the HMI interface on this side. Okay, so battery status, tool status as well, plus the gear settings, which you can clearly scroll through using the toggle button and the addition of eco mode. Eco mode on this tool allows the saw to run at whatever speed and power it deems is necessary. Okay, so there are sensors inside the saw which pick up on the resistance the tool is facing as it's cutting through the application and the saw can then adjust and compensate the amount of power and speed it needs, which will give you up to 30% more runtime from your battery. Additionally, the GC model comes with the latest Expert Blade. Expert Blades have been designed with a thinner kerf, which gives the machine a lot less resistance when it's cutting. Net result is you get much more runtime from the battery. Also, being a guide rail compatible saw, it is, of course, 100% compatible with our existing FSN guide rail range. As always, I've probably done enough talking about this tool. Let's go over to Tom Fisher at Waste Not Wood to see how he has been getting on with using it in real world applications. Hey everyone, I'm Tom Fisher and I'm from Waste Not Wood. Welcome to my workshop. Uh, it's amazing to be here today as part of this Bosch uh, Biturbo live stream. And they have asked me to take part and talk about this very tool here. So this is the Bosch GKS 18 volt 68 GC circular saw. I've had this very one for a year and a half and I got to test it then and it's a great piece of kit. Now before this I was using one of the smaller ones and I always went for a try to avoid using a circular saw on jobs because it was okay but it was using 4 amp batteries and not a huge depth of cut and yeah just didn't really do enough. Um, this thing has definitely changed that. So doing any sort of work with big timbers or roofs, in fact you can do compound miters, you've got this piece of kit here because it also runs on your rail which is super helpful, um, which is another thing I'll talk about in a minute. But yeah, normally when you're using a saw like this it's going to be not great conditions it won't be workshop space you won't have completely clear sight sometimes you might be cutting roof timbers sometimes you might be doing decking anything like that it's feels like it's been made for those jobs which is really great it feels like if i put it down in my toolbox and it falls off it's not going to break which is also a bonus you want to know that it's going to last a long time um, the fact that it is running on these batteries just still blows my mind um, and they're still bringing out massive tools like the uh, table saw and the um, mitre saw now as well. And they are powerful. I have to say, I was quite skeptical at first, but I've been really impressed with them. 
It's nice that these batteries also work in other tools and okay, oh, I've got one more cut to do, but these batteries have run out. I can just put an old one in just to do one cut if I really need to. So it just means that I keep working, which is always a bonus. So we just, yeah, it's been nice to know that some thoughts have been put into that, um, rather than having separate batteries that don't work or going for like a 36 volt battery instead of going for the 18. It's, um, yeah, it's obviously just been thought out. It's a really nicely designed saw, really nice weight, um, really easy depth control. It's a great saw. Um, the fact that you've got the, uh, the panel on there, so I've got my battery charge on here. It just shows how, um, how much juice is left in the batteries. Obviously you've got the button on the back, which will show you how much is in there. This one obviously needs charging. But in a saw like this, to try and check it, I don't want to have to keep turning it upside down to, to see what what charge I've got. The fact that after, or whilst I'm using it, it will show me where it's at with the battery. Just means that again, I can keep working, which is always a bonus. Um, it's got Bluetooth in here. Not something I delve huge amount into. Uh, it's one of those things that you tend to just set and leave. Um, but knowing that actually, okay, I can set a few different speeds on the, on the saw and set that to, to different numbers. Um, I can change the different modes on there as well. Um, so I do, with all my um, Bluetooth tools, I do just go on there and check them every few months, just connect them up and make sure there aren't any warnings on there or anything. So it's really comfortable to use. That extra big handle there just feels like you've just got a bit more control um, on the saw. And again, the fact that it runs on rails is great. Doesn't um, just run on the Bosch ones, you can use other brands as well. I took this to work a while ago and my I left my Bosch uh, rails in the workshop. I had another brand already in the van and it was great the fact that I could put it on there. It just means that I can carry on working. That's that's what we want from our tools. We don't want to have to think or be two, two or three steps ahead. You just want to be able to get a tool out. You can work. It's not going to slow you down. Um, so yeah, that's what I can say about this. It's a fantastic tool, super clean cuts, really nicely designed. It's just been a little bit more thought put into it. Um, robust and powerful. That's, that's all we asked for and Bosch are definitely delivering that at the moment. So thank you very much. I hope that's been helpful. Um, yeah, so over to, or back to the other guys and see what they've been saying. But yeah, thanks very much for joining me. Cheers, bye. So in summary, these two by turbo brushless 190 mil circular saws are every bit as powerful as the corded equivalent. In some cases, in some applications, they have even been proved to be faster. Um, but most importantly, they are taking us one step closer to the cordless job site. Thanks for your attention. Back to you, Chris. So cheers, Lawrence. So sticking with the topic of wood, Danny's now going to talk us through one of our crowd favourites, our bi-turbo 18-volt compound sliding miter saw. Thanks, Chris. This is the GCM 18V-216 cordless compound miter saw, featuring a 216mm blade and a maximum cutting capacity of 70mm Perfect for first fix framing, flooring, and skirting. Let's see it in action. Now you've seen it in action, let's dig into it a little deeper. We've got a 216mm 24 tooth narrow kerf blade. The narrow kerf blade is designed to maximise efficiency, meaning more cuts per charge, and as a result, also minimise wastage. A 48 tooth option is also available as an accessory, depending on the quality of cut that you require. Right, let's look into the maximum capacities of the machine. The maximum vertical cut capacity is 70mm, and the maximum cross cut capacity is 270 millimetres. The mitre angle can also be adjusted to a maximum of 47 degrees in either direction, right or left of the table. There's also lockouts set to 45 degrees, 
22.5 degrees and 15 degrees. This is a single bevel mitre saw, reaching a maximum capacity of 45 degrees. This can be achieved by removing the fence to the left of the machine, loosening the lever at the back and tilting to the desired position and setting again with the lever from the rear. The gauge on the right side of the machine here indicates the angle that you've set out. Right, let me just pop it back to its original position. Also in the box, you'll find a dust bag. This can be fitted over the top of the click and clean adapter, meaning it can be used with a dust bag or also with our entire range of click and clean extractors. And finally, on the base of the machine, we have an Allen key for removing the standard fitments for the blade and also the toolless blade change system, which means this can be used by removing the bolt and the flange from the blade and replacing it with this here. This makes for a faster blade change. Of course, the machine comes with a single line laser for accurate cutting and weighs in at 14.7 kilos without a battery. And with a battery, only weighs in at 15.7 kilos, meaning one handle carrying is always an option. And now let's hear from Phil Edwards, who's been using the mitre saw in his day-to-day -day life. Hello and welcome to this live stream event brought to you by Bosch Professional Power Tools. My name is Phil Edwards, I'm a carpenter, and I like to use social media to show you guys at home the tools you wish you had. One of them is right here. This is Bosch's GCM 18 volt 216. For those in the know, this is a cordless mitre saw. So Bosch have asked me to do a nice little video for you all to see, uh, talking about this tool, how it has helped me on a daily basis on construction sites where different problems or tasks can be tackled very easily with what Bosch has to offer. So let's get straight into the exciting bits, tool specifications and extreme close-ups. The GCM 18V216 mitre saw is an 18V battery powered saw with a 216mm blade or 8.5 inches. It weighs just 14.7 kilograms and runs off just one 18 volt Bosch standard battery or one of their Procore batteries. The cutting capacity vertically is 70 millimeters and laterally towards the user, 270 millimeters. This will easily tackle any construction timber, the materials you need. So why is a saw like this helpful for a carpenter like me? Uh, for starters, it's cordless. This means that when I go to a building site that has no power, generally not a lot of them do when I get there, um, I don't have to worry about trading leads, pat testing or electrocution unless of course Nick Bundy is working on this site in that case proceed with caution but a tool like this being cordless means I can take it to any corner of the site and not have to worry about these problems I just plug in one of the 18 volt batteries and I'm good to go now on the subject of batteries I myself use the 18 volt Bosch Procore batteries you can use the Bosch standard batteries but the Procore is recommended as these are the more heavy duty more efficient batteries any size battery will fit into this model of saw the 12 amp the 8 amp or the 4 amp it's recommended you use the higher amp for more cuts you can use a 4 amp but you won't get the same amount of cuts but you'll still get the same power and just to show I've put in a 4 amp hour battery one of the slim ones just to cut through a piece of timber to show you that it's still capable of bringing out the same power thanks to the Procore batteries. The bi-turbo motor gives the user more runtime and less wear and tear on the motor, helping you keep your mind steady and not worrying about having to have the tool taken away for repairs after a couple of years use. Teamed up with the Procore battery, we can expect more RPM, less noise output, and with the cooling fins, which are part of the design of the bi-turbo motor, we can expect less overload and heat exhaustion to the battery and the motor. So what extra does this saw have to offer for the user? We've got an LED light that illuminates the cutting area, and a red laser which gives you a precise cutting line. The saw has a front mounted D handle for the activation trigger and a top handle for transport and moving from one area to another. A dust bag is supplied with this tool, however if you also have the Bosch cordless extractor, the GAS-10L, you can plug that in and it also has the clips to keep the hose from falling off. I have used plenty of chop saws in my career, uh, including Bosch's GCM-260. Uh, this is the 260mm blade, the big one with the axial glide arm, 
which can be a bit of a lug to carry around everywhere. So having one as small and compact as this one is brilliant for me if I'm going up and down stairs and through doorways. I haven't got to worry about it hitting anything or damaging any materials. I'm really excited to see the range of Biturbo products that Bosch are bringing out at the moment, as well as ones they'll be bringing out in the future. So keep it going guys, really interested and happy with what you're doing. So thank you for sticking around for this video and the previous tradespeople's videos on their tools. Uh, and don't forget to check out Bosch's other Biturbo range of products. Have yourself a nice Christmas and take care. In summary, this is a portable, powerful, corded comparable compound miter saw with class leading cut capacity within the Bosch range. Back to you, Chris. Good one, Danny. So now you guys have seen why that tool is such a popular tool. Okay, we're here. The main event to a bi-turbo tool so powerful that it needs an auxiliary handle bigger than it is. Lawrence, what have you got for us? Thanks, Chris. Now I'm going to talk to you about the new GSR and GSB 18V-150C. Two drills. One is a dedicated drill driver. The other is a drill driver with combination hammer drill mechanism built in as well. Okay, so much more suitable for the UK construction trade because with the hammer mechanism, you can drill into harder substrates like concrete, brickwork, masonry. I'm going to pass this one to Dan, if you wouldn't mind taking that away. Thank you. Thank you. It gives me a bit more space to play with this. So, what are the headline features? Well, this drill can deliver up to 150 Newton meters of torque, hard torque, when in drill driver mode. Okay, that's a new high performance benchmark from a Bosch cordless drill. In addition to that, it'll spin it up to 2200 RPM, making all drilling applications nice and fast. You can get the job done quickly. And it has an impact rate of up to 33,000 BPMs. So again, when you're drilling into brickwork or harder substrates, this drill will get the job done very, very quickly for you. Additional features on this drill include switchable kickback control, which is designed to keep the user protected in the event of a sudden bind, and a USP for this one, electronic angle detection. So you can set the angle that you want to drill or fix at, and then the tool will tell you via an LED at the top as to whether or not you're maintaining a consistent and accurate drilling angle, or if you've deviated. But that's enough talking from me. Let's see it in action. Hopefully you can see just how good this tool is in real world applications. Now I'll talk you through the product itself in a bit more detail. So starting at the top, you can see up here, we've got two gears and an all metal gearbox, crucially. High torque and low torque settings. Selectable drilling modes, normal drilling or drill driving, uh, fixing, screw driving, and of course the hammer mode over here on the right hand side. You've also got 25 clutch settings, which allows you to do some really, really accurate fixing, decide just how much, um, how, how deep or how shallow you want your screw to, um, to be fixed into the substrate. All metal chuck at the front here with a 13 mil capacity. Plus we've got this indexable, massive auxiliary handle. Uh, the reason it's massive is because, as mentioned before, this drill can achieve up to 150 newton meters of torque, so you really do need the leverage there. But crucially, you can set it to exactly the position that you want, okay? So whatever is most comfortable for the task you're carrying out. Nice and easy on and off. Moving down the drill, you'll see the port on the side of the handle for the connectivity module. 
This drill is fully Bluetooth uh, connectable to your phone and thus the Bosch Toolbox app where you'll find lots of customizable settings for it. And then when we get to the bottom of the tool, you'll see the HMI here, which indicates the tool status. Okay, green is fully operational, normal working conditions, but if the tool should overheat or bind up midway through an application, this will change to either amber or red to indicate that something is wrong and the tool needs to be, or the trigger needs to be released and uh, thus reset. Next to that, you have switchable kickback control. So green indicates that it's active, but you can deactivate it with a push of a button should you wish to. So the benefit of kickback control, purely and simply user safety. So if you're midway through an application, if you're drilling and all of a sudden the drill binds, kickback control stops the tool, which keeps you uh, and your wrist safe. You can switch it off, should you prefer to. And then if you were to disconnect the battery whilst keep back control mode is switched off and reconnect, you'll see that the machine defaults into active keep back control again to keep you safe. At the front, we've got an all metal ROM chuck with a 13 millimeter bit capacity. But of course, being a drill, the key question is what kind of drilling capacities can it achieve? Well, it'll drive up to a 12 millimeter diameter screw and I have seen it drive a one meter, 12 millimeter screw into solid wood in one of our product team demonstrations, which is really impressive, okay? A true testament to the torque output of this tool. In terms of drilling, we can drill up to 20 millimeter in masonry. We can drill up to 16 millimeter in steel. And if you're drilling with a hole saw into wood, it'll achieve up to 150 millimeters. And now let's go over to Jimmy Lawrence, AKA Plumber Parts, who's been putting this tool through its paces. Hello everyone, my name's James from the YouTube channel Plumber Parts, and I want to talk to you about some of the problems and things that I come up against on a daily basis on site as a plumber when it comes to the power tools that I use and how I think Bosch have addressed those in the GSB 18 volt 150C. Oh yeah, and the bi-turbo tool range. So number one, the biggest thing is, well, the battery. That is so important for me and for a lot of tradesmen out there. Now most of us are using battery cordless drills and tools to get the jobs done that we're doing on site. And what we need out of a battery is power. We need reliability. We don't want them going wrong. We need endurance so we're not constantly recharging them and going down to the van from the loft, getting them charged up again and all that sort of stuff. And we also need a nice clear way of knowing roughly how much charge they've got left. We've got that here on the back of these Procore batteries and they are absolutely brilliant, but they would be nothing without a fantastic tool to get that power down accurately, efficiently and safely to the working area that we're on. And as you can see, we've definitely got that here. So another problem that I often have with uh, tools, especially ones that aren't brushless, is the fact that they need a lot of maintenance over time, but also the fact they're noisy and they use more battery up. What I really love about the Bi-Turbo tools is that they do not do that. With brushless technology, we've got more power going down from this battery into the tool, more torque, more endurance, it's less noisy, and they don't need any maintenance to work. They're just there every time, as you can hear. Another thing that I want and need on site is power. Now, earlier on, before we started filming, I don't know if you can just... It's really hard for me to tell you, but you know you've got a strong, powerful drill when every time you turn it on, it goes and kicks on you a bit. Yeah? That is absolutely class. And with this beast here, the GSB 18 volt 150C, we've got the standard thing that a lot of you Bosch users are used to now, the big red two speed selector on top. Another issue that I come across on site quite often is the different substrates that we are drilling into require more than just two settings to enable us to accurately drill into that substrate without damaging it. Now the thing I love about the GSB 18 volt 150C is the fact that we have got that. We've got a hammer function, we've got a screw function that will go right onto this torque, and we've also got a drill function as well. 
So that's nice to have that versatility there. One of the things that I worry about when I'm drilling into things, especially like kitchen cabinets, stuff like that, when I'm in a tight space, but I'm drilling quite a large bit size, is kickback. If you're in that small space and the drill just bites a bit, it goes boof and kicks everywhere, you can get injured by that. You can also damage what you're working on on the inside. One of the things I absolutely love about this drill is the fact that we've got a kickback control on here. Now if I just turn it on, we can turn it on and we can turn it off just like so, just clicking them on and off there, and that will turn it on and off. But if we have it on, the drill will be sensing for that real quick increase in torque and pressure because the drill bit's slightly blocked, and it will turn off before it even gets a chance to kick back. That is cool. Another thing that I like about this is that we've got a 45 degree, a 60 degree, and a 90 degree kind of angle measurement, so the drill actually knows where we are according to what we want to be at. So for instance, you're building up some timber and you want to drill into that timber 45 into another head or something like that. You can tell this drill to say, can you tell me when we're at 45? And it will use the LED to say, yes, you're at 45 now, get drilling. But the thing that I love about that the most is for years, me and my dad working together, if I was ever doing like a long 28 mil drill bit, through a wall, I'd always have to have my old man stood behind me to go, yeah, that looks about level. Sorry, dad, you're not gonna have to do that anymore now, mate, because I can just set this to 90 degrees and the drill will tell me when I'm level. Another thing I love about this, and this is a real meaty beast of a drill, the weight of it and all that, it's absolutely lovely. You know, you've really got a solid feeling product here, uh, is the fact that we've got a massive chuck on it, made of metal, strong, when it tightens up and clicks on. Let's just do this beast now. Feel that, look, oh, tighten up. And this drill will happily spin this beast around. It's a 122 millimeter Bosch carbide or four inch drill bit. Look, look at it go, let's do it at full speed. <laughs> Absolutely wicked. But what I like about that is the fact that we can put this power down with a great chuck, a fantastic motor, a great battery with the safety of a kickback. We even know what angles we're gonna be at. And there's also loads more functionality if you've got this paired up with the app as well on your phone. What a great tool. All those problems, all those worries that I have when I'm on site solved by this one beast that we've got here. Thanks ever so much for making this Bosch. I love it very much. And you're watching this now and you're thinking of upgrading your drill or going over to something a bit more chunky, a bit more beastly, then I highly recommend the Bosch GSB 18 volt 150 c Thanks for watching guys, hold tight. So, the GSB and GSR 18V-150Cs are available in the UK to buy now. You can purchase them either as body only tools and add them onto your existing system, or you can purchase them with two times eight amp hour Procore batteries as a fully loaded kit. Thanks for watching, back to you Chris. Okay guys, so thanks Lawrence. And thanks to all our trade experts for some excellent videos. Honestly, honestly, great stuff. So uh, throughout the live stream, uh, you guys have been sending us loads of questions and the panel, myself, Dan and Lawrence, when he comes back from the stage, will be very happy to answer those questions very quickly. Um, I should also point out that we're also going to announce the three winners of our Biturbo competition at the end. So stay tuned for that. So let's start talking about some questions. Come on, Lawrence. Join the club. Gents, hello. Yeah, well done. It's been a, been a long afternoon, long evening, but we're finally there. So, so some of the questions, we've got some excellent ones come in. Uh, the first one we've got in uh, is, in our experience, what benefits have there been to the adjustable speed on the angle grinder? So, Dan. Well, um, really the main advantage is uh, you've got lots of different applications you can use an angle grinder for, um, such as wire brushing or stainless steel cutting. Mm -hmm. um, you really need to run at a slower speed for those sort of applications, so um, it allows you to tailor the speed of the machine to the application you're actually using. Yep, and as I said, uh, because it's a connected tool, you have the ability to alter the speed settings so you can choose, choose them for each setting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, another one that's come in, uh, what is the one Bosch tool you couldn't live without and why is it better than the competition? Well, I'm happy to take that one. Uh, honestly, it's that last machine. Yeah, it's the, the, the Biturbo GSB 18V150C. It is an absolute beast. Um, not only is the fact that as of, this, as of the recording of this, uh, it's 150 newton meters of hard torque, by far the best in the market currently, mm. and also it has a world's first, which is the electronic angles detection, right? So that makes it top. Mm. Okay, 
<laughs> so no, 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 I was just going to say once you felt that kind of power, you, you can't really quit. No, honestly, it's... yeah. And uh, as um, as uh, as Jimmy Lawrence said, as, as Jimmy said from um, one of our trade experts, you really have to try the. If you use the machine, you will feel how very quickly how powerful that is. Yeah, so it's a real hands-on experience. Yeah. Um, so another another comment here. I'm loving my GKS 18 V 68C. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Um, and the heavy duty nature quality of it. Uh, are there any future pl plans to bring out n new heavy duty joinery tools like nailers in the near future? So Lawrence, you, you know, you're, you're a portfolio Yeah, guy. absolutely. Um, we are invested heavily in our woodworking joinery uh, carpentry tools. Um, we've got uh, a whole plan for the nailing segment, uh, including a 16 gauge finishing nailer, which is coming first. That'll be out in the middle of next year. Uh, plus we have some more uh, heavy duty saws planned for as well in 2022 and further into 2023. Nice. Uh, do you have any plans for increasing battery amps or will you be sticking with 12 amp hour? Dan. Well, um, at the moment, the current range of tools, um, the 12 amp hour is, is, um, is adequate, more than adequate for, for the applications involved. Um, there are plans in the future to increase that. Um, there's also plans to go for larger machines with, uh, with larger applications, We're trying to bring a, bring a more uh, cordless um, workplace into, into being. So yes, definitely, yeah. Cool. In the, in the future. Oh, another one for you, Lawrence. What is in the pipeline for new 18 volt Bosch tools? So I guess they're saying, not necessarily by turbo, just 18 volt. Yeah, I mean, uh, 18 volts is our core platform um, and very much uh, the main focus of product development for us. So next year, I can tell you, we've got the nailer that I mentioned before, be the first of many nailers yep. uh, coming into our cordless range. See, Lawrence, we've got a bit of a sneak preview. Oh, there. a bit of a sneak preview. That's the one. I knew you had it somewhere, thanks, Dan. <laughs> okay, yeah, so as I said, 16 gauge, fairly compact uh, uh, finishing nailer. Yep. Um, it's, it's a really good bit of kit. We've used it. It's got very, very low recoil. Um, very, very easy to use, tool-free uh, jam clearance, uh, and a nice, accurate contact tip at the end there that allows you to see exactly where you're applying, fixing your nail. Um, we've also got a metal cutting saw. Uh, we've got the fabulous GBH 18 VS28 uh, DC. It's a D-handle, 18 volt saw. It's not a by turbo tool, but it has a huge amount of hitting power. Hang on, I think um, I've got one there that I can do as well. Another sneak preview. There you go. Dan is the man Very with nice. all of yeah. the all of the tools tonight. So yeah, uh, onboard extractor as well with this tool. Rafter hook. It's a lovely bit of kit. We've been playing about with it here yeah, in definitely. in the studio and in the training centre. And I have to say, it's impressive. Um, what else have we got? We've got some left-handed circular saws coming as the market, which mm -hmm. our portfolio has been missing. Um, and we have even an M-Class dust extractor, a cordless M-Class dust extractor coming towards the end of next year. So uh, that and a whole a whole lot more. We've got a lot of new cordless products coming oh, you're through. You're saying that, Lawrence. You've got, you're very popular today because there's another question that's come in. <laughs> Are there any new bi-turbo tools coming or hitting the market soon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, bi-turbo is really, you know, that's our focal innovation piece. These are our big heavy duty tools, allowing us to really go after that cordless job site dream that I think we all have. So uh, we've got more mitre saws coming, we've got more STS hammers coming, we have uh, the M-Class extractor that I mentioned, we've got a new resip saw um, coming around about the middle of next year, uh, and a few other pieces as well, which escape me now, but there's, there's plenty in, the, yeah, in the, the, the development roadmap. Oh, here's another one that's come in. Uh, what makes Bosch Pro Tools better than others, in your opinion? Well, I'm obviously very biased. We're all very biased. However, um, from my perspective, honestly, it's the fact that we've got complete backwards and forward compatibility of our battery platform. So we're talking about, obviously, we've evolved from the Pro Core generation all the way up mm -hmm. to the, sorry, the Pro Core generation. And, and previously, we obviously had the Cool Pack batteries. And the fact that you can put these batteries on either machine. Obviously, if you've got a bi-turbo machine and you run out of battery power, because of the compatibility, if you're in a pinch, yep. you can just put on a normal cool pack battery. You lose a bit of performance, but you'll still get the job done. And for me, that's a big, that's a big key thing for Bosch. Yeah, I mean, even, you know, talking about this, this saw behind you, we've got the 305 mil bi-turbo mitre saw back here. Theoretically and, and practically, you could stick a small two amp 18 volt battery onto that, yes. that saw and it would still run. It won't give you the full power that it can deliver, but it will still run. So yeah, really that 100% 18 volt battery yeah. compatibility it's, message it's, is, yeah. is a, a big one for us. Now you're talking all the way back to, you could put on a, an 18 volt battery from 2003. It would work with all of our tools up to today. So that's an excellent thing. Um, let's have a look. Uh, 
Is the main goal for Bosch in the future to have tools right across the board, all with bi-turbo brushless motors, e.g. jigsaws, planers, sanders? Uh, Dan? Yeah, um, I mean, with a lot of those machines, um, especially for the light duty ones, for, for your, your smaller combis, um, uh, planers, that sort, of, that sort of machine, the additional power is not necessarily required. Um, so a bi-turbo machine in that particular market may not be the way, way we would go. Um, however, a good upgrade for a machine in that sort of market would be to go for the Procore battery because yeah. you, you're getting the extended runtime from that um, and a more, more efficient um, power um, transmission from the battery to the machine. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, here's one. I'll give you another one, Dan. When will the Bosch DAB radio come back to the market? Ah. This is a that burning question. A burning <laughs> question. <laughs> very popular one. Probably the most popular one all night, I'm sure. Yeah. There you go. It's not going to be very long. We have one here. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is the um, the top of the range one that's going to be coming out. Um, it's the GPB 18V-5SC, I believe. Right. That's right. Um, and there's another couple coming out with it as well. Yeah, the smaller the smaller units as well. It should be back in the shops in January. Touch wood, crossed fingers. Mm. We hope. Uh, yes. Yeah, they're going like hot potatoes, so when they're back in stock, make sure you get one. Mm. Okay, so on to the panel, so this is all of us. Does the panel consider 18 volt by turbo tools sufficiently powerful for the needs over the next couple of years, or would they like to see 36 volt or more powerful t tools come along? So, I mean... Good question. Yeah, good I mean, question. Mm. right now, uh, as it stands, yeah, we absolutely see by turbos being powerful enough to sustain the cordless job site for the next, well, yeah, the next foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. um, the tools will evolve. Um, the efficiencies will evolve. Exactly. Uh, the battery platforms will evolve as well. We do yeah. know that there is um, larger capacity batteries further down the development pipeline. Um, and even possibly the charging times. We've got the fastest yeah. charger in the market at the moment, but, mm -hmm. but we, there's nothing to stop us from going after something even faster. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. With yeah. the um, with increase of, on the improvement on technology, um, before, yes, we would have a 36 volt system and you'd run you know, a larger machine running off 36 volt, mm. but with improvements in technology and obviously miniaturization, the, you know, the bi-turbo brushless machine, you know, that's tailor made to run off the 18 volt system and it does it excellently. So yeah. more, more to come, yeah. Okay, uh, are there any plans to add a mains adapter option for the brushless range uh, for times when main voltage is available uh, and to avoid needing batteries? Honestly, that's, that's a really good idea, but unfortunately currently, no, we don't have any plans yet, mm. I'm afraid. Okay, Dan, one for you. Uh, it's about the Biturbo GKS 1868GC, uh, so the Cirque again. Mm -hmm. Another one, yeah. Uh, what use are the various speed settings other than battery saving? So, yeah. um, I think having played around with the machine myself and cutting variable, various different materials such as uh, laminate, if you're using a, a, a blade such as cutting laminate, the, um, the ability to adjust the speed, um, be it slower or faster, mm -hmm. um, gives you the ability to custom the cut to the actual materials that you're using. So you can cut slower, more accurate, better finish. Yes, finish. So uh, yeah, that's that's the main main reason I pulled out. Yeah, that. you don't you don't want full power, full speed all of the time. If you're cutting something like PVC or some yeah. plastic piping, for example, mm -hmm. you probably want to run the saw at a lower speed and avoid well yeah. melting. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Worst having, case. Having, a, having a variable trigger as well is all very well, but maintaining the perfect trigger pressure for a long cut is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Exactly. So having a set speed is perfect. Yeah, it's more power to you, the user. You can use it or, use it or not use it, it's up to you. Mm. Having the choice is all it's all about. Okay, uh, this one's for all of us. Uh, are we going to produce a lighter 18 volt batteries with the same power as the current range? Um, well, we kind of already do in a way because we've obviously got the compact four amp hour Procore battery. Um, if you need, um, I, and well, I mean, I could also say that the fact that uh, throughout our entire history, you know, we've excelled at making not only mm. uh, excellent batteries, but they've always been the most compact and lightest in the market. And I think I'd be happy to say that, that extends into Procore 18 volts. So, are we going to produce lighter batteries? Um, probably not. But we'll I mean, probably make more powerful ones. Yeah, but battery mm. technology it's ever evolving, isn't it? Mm. And you can rest assured that we are at the forefront, or at least amongst the the leading brands when it comes to 
battery technology development um, is one of our, our, I think, our strongest exactly, yeah. points at the moment. So, yeah, we're always looking at ways of, of evolving what we have and making it better. Certainly making our products lighter or rather getting the power to weight ratio yes. optimized has yeah. is, is always been a focal point for Bosch Professional yeah. and we'll maintain that. Um, but yeah, as always, watch this space and, uh, and, and see what, what what we come up with exactly, and then obviously yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're looking at the, um, the 18650 cells, I mean, from, from the initial um, development of the 18650 cells, um, the um, capacity of those was increased exponentially yeah. each generation. With no change in weight? No, no change in weight there at all. But now we've switched to the 21700s and there's more investment in that market now, then it stands to reason that we're going to be able to get more more amps out of the same size cells exactly. without a weight increase. So. Exactly, exactly. So we've got another one for the panel. Um, how much of a step change is by turbo compared to the upper range of the pro brushless tools available? So I guess you're talking, you know, uh, the difference between the non by turbo and the top end 18 volt. Hmm. So I mean, we can. It's a technical question. It's a very technical question. Yeah. I was going to hand it back to you, but that's um, fine. Well, I'm happy to take it. I mean, you could always say that, you know, by turbo is there if you need it. It's the top end products mm. if you have I mean this is almost horses for courses you could say because if the current 18 volt range or the tool you have doesn't meet the need for your application mm -hmm. then you should step up and because we've now got the bioturbo platform we're now able to walk into the realm with cordless performance right so if um, if your current machine doesn't do it and a bioturbo does then you should upgrade mm. if however you know the mach current machine does do what you need it to do well the bioturbo machine is going to do it quicker and make you more productive and, and yeah honestly time count time Time expensive for you yeah. guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the next question we've got? We got one again. Oh, the GKS68 is so popular. <laughs> uh, will it still perform well enough with the five amp hour batteries? I'm going to presume you mean the 5.5 Pro Core batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, will it uh, perform well enough on the 5.5 amp hour Pro Core batteries? Will it have plenty, or will you need the eight amp hour as a minimum? Well. Uh, it will work perfectly fine on the 5.5 amp hour. You will get just as much power. The 8 amp hour will just give you more runtime. With uh, circular saw applications, they can be quite power intensive. So if you need it, 8 amp hour is there. If you need more, go to 12 amp. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's flip that question around on its head quickly because I think it's an interesting one. It could be interpreted another way. And if, if in fact, um, we're being asked if the saw will run on a, a standard mm -hmm. 18, uh, 5 amp hour cool pack, cool pack um, then this, the answer is still yes. The saw mm -hmm. will run quite happily. You'll be able to cut single sheets of OSB without any problems. You won't get the full power output that the saw can accomplish if it's got the Procore batteries. But if you're knacking your Procore 8 amp uh, and you've only got a, a standard cool pack battery in your tool bag, yeah, it'll run. Mm -hmm. It should get, you, should get you out of trouble. Nice. Um, I have to cut and fit a lot of 220 mil skirting. Which tool? Oh, Dan. Yeah, GCM18 uh, V-216. Yeah, your one. Compound mitre. Yeah, do it easy. Yeah. Well, well within its rip capacity, you could probably cut about three at a time, <laughs> I would imagine. Yep. God, that's a cracking tool. Um, another one for you, Dan. Are the cordless tools worth it if you need dust extraction? Do Bosch have any plans for a wireless extractor trigger? For use with our cordless tools? Um, yes, there in actual fact there's a retrofit for the corded extractors, uh, plugged into the, um, the takeoff socket at the front, the accessory socket, um, and that'll work with the, um, the Bluetooth capabilities of the tool that you're using. Um, I believe, are we also looking into a range of... We are, of course. Look, no cordless range is complete without a cordless M-Class vac. Uh, you need M-Class obviously if you're working on a big construction site um, here in the UK. Um, and we have plans to launch one. I'm going to put my neck on the line and say <laughs> T3 September-ish in 2022. So it's it's in the pipeline. Uh, don't sue us if we don't manage to bring it to market by September. But we will, as always, keep you posted via all our social channels. Yeah. Um, watch this space yeah. and you'll know about it first. Exactly. Well, I, think, I think you've already touched upon this one already, Lawrence, but any news when we'll be realizing a new 165 millimeter compact by turbo blade left circular saw? So I don't think it's 165, but I think it's 190, isn't it? We, you're right, you're right. We do have uh, plans, again, in the pipeline next year, 2022, left-handed 190 mil circular saw. So same power levels, same output and performance as the saws that we've seen in the videos tonight, but with a left-handed bias. Um, which I know is preferred by a lot of users here in the UK. So yeah, yeah we are going to cover that one. Okay. 
Uh, when is the brushless saw coming out to the market? I'll answer that one. We do. We've already got it. It's the GTS 18 V216. So that's easy. Uh, yeah, the table saw, which yeah. has just, just come into the, the range. Yep. Nice. Uh, are we planning on a bi turbo impact driver? So that's an interesting one because I would argue maybe bi turbo is a bit much for a driver. Mm. I mean, currently we obviously have the GDS 18V1000C and the 1050C. So those are half inch and three quarter inch hex, uh, hex sockets. Um, they're wrenches, so, aren't they? They're wrenches. They're wrenches, they're wrenches. Yeah. so they're up to a thousand newton meters, and that makes sense for Biturbo to be able to deliver that power, but yeah. for an impact driver, don't know. Yeah, you're, you're, you're driving screws, aren't you, into wood, so i argue that it's, there's potentially too much power. It's yeah. probably too, yeah. yeah. Too so I mean, much currently within the range, yeah. we're up to 200 newton meters, 210 coming out, more than, more than adequate, I believe. Mm. Okay. okay, I think this might be the last question of the night. This is to you, Lawrence. Do you find that the Bosch by Turbo brush equipment helps with the speed on any jobs? And are they comfortable to use for prolonged periods of time during? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's one of the, the uh, key arguments for the by Turbo brushless range. Obviously, more, spa more power means more speed or more hitting energy, um, and it allows you to complete the task, the application, quicker. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Faster application, shorter, um, uh, shorter job times. Uh, and really, really good run time as well from most of them, particularly some of these saws. Really, really impressive. Um, and in terms of comfort uh, of use, yeah, they're all er ergonomically designed um, with lots of features kind of positioned in, in convenient places um, for the user. Uh, and also with the, the hammers, um, I know that drilling vibration has been a huge focus for our, our hammer um, team of experts back in Germany. So nice low vibration levels coming from those mm. as well. So guys, it's been a good evening. We're nearly there. We need to the end of the live stream. To everyone who's still there, mm -hmm. well done. We've got some competition winners to announce. Yep. So obviously, uh, part, of the, part of the live stream was three winners for yep. uh, three of our fabulous by turbo tools. Oh, yeah. The first one we've got is going to win the GKS 18 V 68 GC. So we've had a lot of questions about this machine. Obviously, a crowd favourite. So congratulations to Andrew Walker. You are now a prize. You are now a proud owner. Well done, Andrew, yeah. Well nice. done, mate. You're going to love that. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. We'll hope to get those out uh, in time for Christmas, I hope. Uh, what's the next thing we've got on the line? We've obviously got the next winner's going to win the GBH, one of your, uh, the SDS hammer. So the GBH 18B34CF. Yep. Okay. The proud winner of that is Sean Hamer. So, Sean, well done. Well done, Sean. Cracking. Yeah. Okay. And then finally... We'll keep it the best till last winner of Lawrence's favourite tool. Oh yeah, absolutely. Can I hold it? <laughs> yeah, no, you can hold you. it. I can have it. So back. the proud winner of the GSB 18V 150C. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. Um, absolutely. I really, really hope that you enjoy using this uh, as much as I have done. And yeah, give us some feedback. Let us know. Um, we haven't told us who is yet. Oh, of course. Right, we should probably get that, <laughs> that part of the, the deal first. So well done, Craig. It's Craig Dumpleton. Well done, mate. You are going to love this, mm. honestly. So, the last bit um, is obviously we have the uh, check out the, uh, we've got the word cloud to check out after uh, down in the link below. Was it the link below? Underneath, underneath the, the, the uh, live stream, you'll be able to enter into the word cloud. And also, don't forget that uh, we're going to announce. Uh, the goodie bags on our social media channel after. So, guys, thank you very much for all your time today, and as Marcus. well as everyone that's yeah. been watching the live stream. Thank you very thank much. You very much. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time. Have a nice Christmas.